All right, we good? Yeah, we're good. Golden? All right. All right. Let's go. We went out on patrol with CHP officer Mike Surface. What are some of the things that CHP is doing uh, from Christmas to New Year's? Well, from Christmas to New Year's, we operate under what's called a maximum enforcement period. That means that we're, uh, we are, it's kind of an all hands on deck. We drove on Highway 80 in North Sacramento. Have you had to deal with much hit and runs here? Hit and runs, unfortunately, are 30% of our workload in the North Sacramento area. In just a few minutes on the highway, Officer Zerfus spotted someone. She's on her phone right there, and she's looking down at it. When I drove by you there, I could see your cell phone was in your right hand. It looked like you were working it with your thumb and you were staring at it. What were you doing with your phone? So what's more common, especially during this time, is it DUIs or speeding or...? Well, speeding is the name of the game. I mean, speeding is all day long, every day. Uh, DUI is definitely one of our major focuses because that's where the tragedy happens. And there's this guy here that's going to go right by me. I'm already doing 65, 70. I start trying to match his speed. He's pushing 80 miles an hour now. Hey, driver, go ahead and exit the freeway. Keep going, exit the freeway. Clearly, something has you distracted because you drove right by a marked black and white patrol car. It's New Year's Eve. We're out in force. We're looking for impaired drivers, yeah. dangerous drivers. Officer Zerfes was on patrol for close to 20 years. Some of the things he's seen are the reasons why they're so serious about safety. For whatever reason, she fled the scene at an extreme high rate of speed, uh, blew through another intersection and hit a family that was coming home from church, killing the dad and the daughter. In an hour, CHP pulled over four people in a small stretch of eight. Okay, how come you didn't just stop to make the phone call? Two for speeding and the other two for using a phone so while driving. He, he was very honest. He did admit to being on his phone, so he was talking to his son, and his Bluetooth wasn't working. He said their message is simple, but they know based on their numbers, they have to be out here for those who aren't following them. This is a citation for the cell phone violation that we discussed. In Sacramento and on Rochita, ABC 10 News.